In today's video we will see how to crochet the waffle stitch. If you look at my three swatches here you'll see that this one is a little bit different and this is because it's the corner to corner waffle uh, stitch and we will see it uh, in, next, uh, in the next video. Uh, so for today we will focus on the classic uh, waffle stitch which is the one that is uh, made in rows so we will start from this direction and we'll go in a classic way, row after row. Together we will make a small swatch of just 15 stitches, but of course you can make your project as large as you need it. For this tutorial I will be using some iron weight acrylic yarn, I use paint box yarns simply iron and a 6mm hook, but of course um, use the profit hook for the yarn that you're using. For the waffle stitch it's always best to go at least one or two hook sizes uh, up compared to the hook uh, that is recommended on the yarn label. Uh, so for example for this one uh, they recommend a 5mm hook but I'm going to use a 6mm and this is because uh, since there are a lot of front post stitches uh, with the waffle stitch the fabric might be a bit stiffer so going up in hook size uh, will let your fabric be uh, soft and squishy. Right, let's get started. Let's start by chaining a multiple of 3 plus 2. So in this tutorial I will chain uh, 17, which is uh, 5 times 3, uh, 15 plus 2, 17. Once you have your uh, foundation chain ready, we're going to start with the first row. And for that we are going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So we count uh, one chain, two, three. We go into the next one, which is this one here, and we make a double crochet. And now we simply double crochet across. Alright, so in this first uh, row we have uh, 15 stitches, which is exactly a multiple of 3. Uh, always make sure that this is the case for you as well. And remember to consider that this uh, turning 3 chains count as your first double crochet. So now we're ready to see row number uh, 2, which is going to be the right side of our fabric, because row number 1 was the wrong side. So for that we chain 1 and we turn. And we're ready to start working the waffle stitch. For the first stitch, we're simply going to make a half double crochet in the first uh, stitch. So we yarn over, insert a hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 3. So now in the next stitch, so this one, we're going to make a front post double crochet. So for that we yarn over, we insert the hook under the post of the stitch, then yarn over, pull up a loop and complete the double crochet as normal. And this was your first uh, front post double crochet. Now in the next two stitches, so this one and this one, we're going to make two double crochets. So one double crochet in each stitch. One and two. Then again, in the next stitch, so this one here, we're going to make a front post double crochet. So we yarn over, insert the hook under the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and complete the double crochet. And again, two double crochet stitches, so one double crochet here, one double crochet in the next one. And we repeat again, so front pause double crochet in the next stitch. In two double crochets. Basically you repeat this across until you have two stitches left. So in this case I have still one repeat, so one front post double crochet, two double crochets. And here we are, so here I'm left with two stitches, uh, which are the turning chain and the first actual double crochet, so two stitches. So now we're going to make one last front post double crochet in this uh, next stitch. And then we make one half double crochet in the third one of these chains here. And uh, row 2 is done. 
Now, to start row number three, again, we're going to chain one and turn. Now, this is the wrong side of our work. And we start again with a half double crochet in the first stitch. So we yarn over, we go into this uh, first uh, stitch and we make a half double crochet. Now, the next stitch is um, was a front post double crochet here on the right side. And on the wrong side of the work, we're going to make a simple double crochet in that one. And uh, these two stitches that we have now here were the regular double crochets from the previous row. And on this row, we're going to make uh, front post double crochet stitches in both of these stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook under the post of this next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And we repeat in the next stitch as well. So we go under the post and we make a front post double crochet. And we repeat across. So in the next stitch, again, we're going to work a simple double crochet. You see, this was the front post in the previous row. And here we work a simple double crochet. And then we make two front post double crochets. And you keep going like this. So one double crochet and two front pause double crochets. Then double crochet again in front post double crochet two. Now here we are left with two stitches, which are the um, first half double crochet from the previous row and the first front post uh, double crochet. So now here we make one last double crochet in this next stitch. And then in the last half double crochet, we're going to work another half double crochet. So we always start and end our row with half double crochet. Um, ideally you could also start with a double crochet, but I like the half double crochet better because it gives um, neater edges. And this was the end of our uh, wrong side row, so this was uh, row number three. Now for row number four, again we uh, always start with a chain one and turn and we make a half double crochet in the first stitch. And now we basically repeat uh, row number two, except that this time you already start seeing the waffle stitch building up. So the first, um, the first stitch was our half double crochet. Now in the next one, we're going to make a front post double crochet. So the same as we did for row number two. And then we make uh, two simple double crochets. So one in each of the next uh, two stitches. Then another front post double crochet. Two double crochets. Front post double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet two. Again, front post double crochet, double crochet two. Front post double crochet in, in this next stitch. And then half double crochet in the last half double crochet. And row 3 is the pattern that you are going to repeat always on the right side of your work. Now for the wrong side we are going to see it again. Um, and it's going to be the same as we did for row number 3. So we chain 1, turn, make 1 half double crochet in the first stitch. Work 1 double crochet here in this second stitch and then make two front post double crochets around these two so one front post double crochet around the next stitch and one front post double crochet around the next one then double crochet and again front post double crochet two Then 
double crochet one and front post double crochet two double crochet one and front post double crochet two again and basically you keep going until you have two stitches left now that we get here here we are on the wrong side so the um, this next stitch is going to be a simple double crochet and then we have the last after double crochet that you work in the last um, after double crochet stitch there and this is the wrong side of your fabric now if you turn to the right side you see that these uh, little squares of the waffle stitch are already uh, building up and you can grow your work by repeating the same two rows so basically row number four that we saw here on the right side and row number five that we just saw on the wrong side when you're happy with the length of your project simply fasten off and uh, weave in your ends i hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial if you did of course don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this i'll see you in the next one bye bye